I just built a fitness tracker app in which I can log in all of my details. I can log every single workout and exercise that I did. I can even go and check the progress that I'm having. I can also get recommendations from this app for what exercise I should be doing. And it also has a workout plan for what should be my workout according to my body type and other details. This entire app was built in less than seven minutes using AI agents. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and welcome to the era of Vibe Coding. In this video, I'll show you how you can build any app like this and more without writing a single line of code using AI coding agents. It's so crazy to imagine that today if you have an idea for a startup, for an app, for a website that you want to build, you don't need coding experience. You don't need to hire software engineers. You can very easily build these tools by just typing and talking to an agent on chat. And that is what I'll be talking about today. I'll show you two tools that you can use for completely free to build any website you want without writing code yourself. So hang on, watch till the end, hit the like button and let's get started with the first tool which is Replit. So this right here, as you can see, is my website which I was able to deploy and fix all the errors right in Replit itself. So Replit came out with an update which allows anyone to use the Replit app and build any app that they want to. So if I click on done, let's say I want to build a new app. So I'll go to Replit and I can just make any app that I want to. Let's say I want to make a learning app in which I can select what I want to learn. It will give me flashcards for that particular topic and then it will quiz me on that particular topic and then give me a final score and tell me how can I improve. It's a very simple app. All I have to do is to describe what the app is about and how it works on this chat and it will create it for me in minutes. Let me show you how it works. So I'll just say um, create a learning app where I can, that's it. That's all you need to type. And once I will do this and press on next, what's happening behind the scenes is very interesting. So what Replit is trying to do is it's trying to break down this entire app into multiple smaller steps. That okay, I need a button. I need a way to create a card. I need to then ask MCQs. I need to then keep a score. I need to keep a timer. So these are separate things that it has created. So it's creating a list of tasks that it has to create. And once it is done with that, as you can see, user authentication and progress tracking, multiple quiz type questions, detailed analytics and learning insights, spaced repetition system, build initial prototype. So I will click on approve plan and start. It's breaking down everything it has to build and it is building it step by step. It's creating all these pages while you can just sit here and see it work and do the work for you. And as you can see, the website is ready for us to use. So this is the AI learning assistant. I can just say, I want to learn about AI agents for that matter. Start learning. It will use the API key to generate flashcards. And it would also use that for generating the questions to ask us and then give us feedback. So it's not working. We can just say it's not working after I click start learning. It's not going to look at all the code and figure out where did the problem arise from and then figure out how can it solve it so that we can actually build this app and use it and then also deploy it in some time. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so it made some changes. Let's actually go here and type, let's just say AI, start learning. And there you go. We have some flashcards in front of us. Definition, AI is a simulation of human intelligence. I can just say next. We have types of AI, narrow AI, general AI, super AI. I can say next, machine learning, next, natural language processing, next, benefits of AI. And I can just say start the quiz. Which of the following is not a type of AI? You tell me in the comment section below if you understand this. Let's just go with quantum computing. What is the purpose of deep learning? To learn complex relationships in data, to solve optimization problems, to perform image recognition, to generate new data. I think the answer to this should be to learn complex relationships in data. Which of the following is a benefit of using AI? Increase efficiency, improve decision making, reduce costs. I think all of the above. What is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? Labeled data uses unlabeled data. Let's just go with that. Which of the following is an ethical concern associated with AI? Job displacement, bias and discrimination, privacy violations, I think all of the above. And our score is four out of 10. 
and now we can again start a new topic. Very simple app we just built in front of you in less than five minutes. That is the power of Replit and you can build literally anything that you want with it. Now let's say you want to deploy this app. So we can literally just go here and say I want to deploy this app. By the way, there's also this assistant that you can access and you can ask any question about the app that you've built with it. So let's say I can ask what Gemini model are we using here? By the way, um, I forgot to tell you, if you go above, you'll see that I have used a Gemini API key. So this is the large language model that this app is using to generate the flashcards and then generate the you know, questions as well for the MCQs. So it will now help me with deploying. And this is the Gemini Pro version that we are using over here. I can also ask any question about a particular file. So I can just reference that file. Let's say I want to learn what does app.tsx do. So I can just ask what does this file do? And I can press on enter. And it will explain me anything about that particular file that I have a question of. So that's how assistant works. This is how the agent really works. And I should now be able to deploy. Let me show you how that works. Let's just do setup deployment, approve and deploy. That's it. That's all you need to do. This is how simple it is to build anything that you want to in minutes using Replit. You tell me in the comment section, what app would you want to build? Let me know below. I'll put this link of this website in the comment section as well as in the description of this video. And you can go and have a look at that if you are interested. I have also deployed the website of the fitness tracker that I just showed you that you can also have a look at if you are interested. But as we are talking, our website is getting deployed right in front of our eyes. How cool is that? And in just two more minutes, we have a live link, which I can just open like this and have my website running and I can launch it. People can log in onto it. I can add like a login authentication. I can add a Stripe to get payments and I can just build a full fledged app using Replit from scratch, all with the help of AI coding agents. That is the promise of Replit. Now, this is the app. You can also go on its website and do the same thing over there. But imagine doing it just on your phone. That is what really blows my mind. Now, I will take you on another website called as Lovable. And let me show you how that website works and how you can build anything that you want with Lovable in seconds without knowing how to code. So this right here is Lovable, which is idea to app in seconds. It makes it really easy for you to just build a simple MVP version of any app that you want to build from scratch. So you can just say create. and set a monthly budget, right? So I will just press on enter. I'll just sign up for free. And once you log in, you should be able to access Lovable and this app will be built right in front of our eyes in literally seconds. Let me just press enter and look at how well it creates it from scratch. So as you can see, it will first understand how to break down this entire app into multiple steps, what all will be the pages required and then it starts building it one by one. So as you can see, it creates design inspiration features for V1. It writes down all the code for it. You don't have to worry about this. We can just sit back and relax while it codes everything for us and we can sip our coffee and hit the like button for this video. And as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, our finance tracker is ready to go. As you can see, it first of all, it gives me the monthly overview. How much have I spent? Let's say I have a budget of $2,000. So I can look at all of that. I can also add transactions. So let's say I spent like uh, $20. Um, I had some food with that. And I can say um, lunch with a friend. I can add a date, let's just add today and add transaction. And so this transaction will now be stored and I can see how much money I have spent. So that's how it works. I can also change the budget settings if I want to do that. I can set specific budgets for grocery, transport, bills. And as you can see, all of this it made on its own. I didn't have to specify everything. It did all the work itself. And I can also look at the dashboard. So that's how it works. This is what you can build with Lovable. And of course, you can also publish this. If you want to do that, I will click on publish. And my site is published and is good to go. I will also put the link of this website in the comment section and the description of this video so that you can have a look at this. And if you will notice, this is actually responsive. So if I will like zoom in, 
this card actually goes down. But that's not all. You can build so much with Lovable. For example, I just asked it to replicate Trello completely. So I just said replicate Trello board feature to feature, add login mechanism as well as along with cards and all the other UI. So it literally built me the entire Trello you know, app itself. So as you can see, this is the login one. So I can enter my details. I have to connect, connect it with Superbase so that it will store all of my login details and everything. And then I'll be able to access that. So Superbase is for logging in and all of the data that you want to store. And the second one would be Stripe. So once you do all of that, then you can do user authentication and you can also receive payments with your application. That is one. I also built this very simple, you know, app in which you can track all of your dates that you're going on. So I just said I need a tracker to keep track of all of the dates. App should be able to log in my entries with fees like dating platform, person, name, age. I should be able to rate them out of five in topics like personality, agreeableness, fitness, cuteness. And at the end, it should give me a score of that particular person based on any algorithm that it thinks is viable. And then I should get a lead leaderboard from it. So I, I can just select any platform. I can just say A, I can add an age. I can add ratings and it will basically add this as an entry right here. So that's how this works. It's a simple date tracker. I also built a simple user interface for Bumble, right? So this is what it looks like. I can swipe through with it like a card. I can also refresh this. And this is basically the simple app that you can build from scratch using Lovable. All I had to type was just a Bumble-like dating interface and this is what it came up with. So in this video, we discussed everything from what is Replit, how does it really work, how to build anything that you want with Replit. We talked about how to solve errors with Replit. You can also, you know, deploy any app on Replit. Then we also to took a look at Lovable and how Lovable really works, how to build any app with Lovable and then also you can publish any application on Lovable itself. This was an in-depth guide on vibe coding and how to build anything that you want without knowing how to code just with the help of AI coding agents. But there are so many more tools, right? I can literally show you more tools over here. There's one tool which is called as V0 which can again help you to generate any type of interface that you want to. As you can see, people are creating some epic stuff over here. This is a agency portfolio, which was built completely with AI using V0. But there's more, there's a app called Windsurf. Again, Windsurf is similar to Lovable and it helps you build any app that you want from scratch. You also have others, like there's a thing called Cursor that you can check out. This is a little bit more complex. So you need to have some experience in coding for using Cursor, but Lovable and Replit, basic, just write the text and the app will be made in seconds for you. That was the video. That was all from me today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Try out these apps for yourself and tell me what do you build with it. Send me the link of the app that you've deployed and show me what is your creativity level like. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.